All right, today we're going to be talking about lettering. All right, so what's lettering? Lettering is dealing with the design and aesthetic quality of the letter that you're trying to draw. So in this lesson, we're going to be covering these three things. One, how to draw letters, because not you don't just write a letter. Sometimes you have to illustrate and draw it out. Next one, how to add designs to your image. So how are you going to add designs to those letters to give it that, own, that little bit of personal touch for yourself? And lastly, graffiti. I'm definitely I'm going to give you guys the... Graffiti. Like for the graffiti, I'm going to give you a real quick tutorial on how to take that letter and give it that little bit of flavor, a little bit of design quality, so you have that graffiti aesthetic in your image. So on your paper, you have lettering. Underneath it, let's do something simple. A word. Now for the word, I want you to take your drawing utensil and I want you to trace around the letters. What I've done simply is I've taken each letter and I've given it space. Now I have space inside the letter and outside the letter. So inside the letter is your positive space. Outside your letter is your negative space. What you're going to do is you're going to take each individual letter and you're going to add and subtract different aesthetic qualities, little bits of line, little bits of design that add and change. Now another thing about lettering that we need to talk about is how a letters are stacked. Now for stacking your letters, that's when we have one bit of design where the letter is being located behind another letter. In this example, you can see that the letters are placed one on top of another throughout the overall image, where all letters are stacked on top of each other. Another way to stack letters is simply by first, first write out the word that you're trying to stack. So every other letter is the letters that I want to stack. I'm going to make a little line just so I remember. Just like so. Alright, graffiti. Now for graffiti, you have to create words that are specifically designed and have a little bit of flavor to them. Your four styles of graffiti are tagging, a throw up, blockbuster, and wild style. That's fascinating. Please go on. Now for a tag, a tag is simply somebody who took a, a spray can or marker and just tasks it up the wall. This is usually called also a toy. A toy is a novice or somebody who doesn't know anything about graffiti. This is an example of a toy. Also, writing your name on a wall just to see it up there is also the signs of a toy. A throw up is when a graffiti artist comes in and, and takes out a toy on their turf. So the toy is written their tag up on the wall. A throw up artist will come in a throw up artist will come in and they'll take the toy's initial piece and dress it up to make it more of a statement design. A throw up is where you're taking somebody else out. A blockbuster. A blockbuster is where you have somebody has taken their word and has completely done it up with designs. Now blockbuster is when somebody takes their word and gives it a little bit more design 
but it's still kind of in a blocky letter format. That creates a blockbuster. The last example of graffiti is a wild style. A wild style is where you have somebody's name that is then augmented, augmented to create more of a stylized image, such as Now, wild style is where you add all of these pieces together to create a more unified design. It's got personality, it's got flavor, and it talks a lot about...